robbers work of the defendants. But your honor, we are pointing out here on how they defend the school. It is obscene, vulgar, indecent, sexually explicit. I object. Overruled. And you, please stick to the issue. Okay. On November 1994, my client, Dr. Alanis Cecilia, gave letters to the students informing them that they filed against them. Which, by the way, were made by the Because the defendants claim that the regional office has jurisdiction over the case, which in fact the school does. They don't! The discipline committee has no jurisdiction over them. They were disciplining them while they were just doing their job as a campus journalist. That's because my client do in fact have jurisdiction over them. That is questionable. Their public act number 77 of the Campus Journalist Act. It says here, and quote, to uphold and protect the freedom of the press, even at the campus level, and to promote the development and growth of the campus journalism as a means of strengthening ethical values, encouraging critical and creative thinking, and developing moral character and personal discipline of the Filipino youth. The Miriam College Discipline Committee is depriving my client's right. Again, Your Honor, these words. Ethical value, moral character, personal discipline, none of those, Your Honor, can be used to describe what the defendants have done in their publications. But, Your Honor, in Section 7 of the Campus Journalism Act, it prohibits expulsion or suspension of the student solely on the basis of articles he or she has written. So, you want to play that game, huh? If you're really familiar with all of the laws, then you would know that in Section 5 of Article 14 of the Constitution guarantees all institutions of the higher earning academic freedom which include the right of the school or college to decide for itself. Academic freedom allows them to determine academic grounds. First, who may teach. Second, what may be taught. Third, how it shall be taught. And fourth, who may be admitted to study. The school has an interest in teaching discipline to the students, which is an irreplaceable value in the field of learning. Therefore, the school not only has the right but the duty to develop discipline in its students, not to mention the fourth academic ground I mentioned. If the school has the right to choose who may be admitted to study, then it is the only logical say that they also have the right to choose who may be expelled or imposed lesser sanction like suspension. I rest my case. Do you have anything else to say, Attorney Valmonte? No, Your Honor. All right. We'll have a 10-minute break and we will all come back for the final verdict. So that power, okay? Pretend you're galit! That power. 
And nakatingin. Okay. Oh, you decide. Decide. Inherent part. 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 Okay, you can move. Okay,